Go ahead, Tim, you're next. All right, get in there, Brandon. Yo, welcome on, to Big baby. Tuna Trees, baby. Let's do this. I got the all-star squad in town here. Oh, Let's get shit. big, come on. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. sink out. Oh yeah, they're right here. All right, turning hard, hard to starboard. Go ahead, Gary, get your cast in, slide left. Go ahead, Tim, you're next. All right, get in there, Brandon. Yo, welcome on, to Big baby. Tuna Trees, baby. Let's do this. I got the all-star squad in town here. Oh, you Let's get shit. Come on. You come on. These are nice fun slides, too. Oh yeah, no. There you go. Okay, now you get it in that middle dash. Come on. So charging us. Oh, they're going this way. Yep. I'm coming up on your right side. Oh, did you miss him? Oh. I'm on! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I need to jump right over my oh, 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 Come on! Oh, 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 Get in there, Tim, get a triple. <laughs> It's whipping pretty good. Good time. I might have him on his side. <laughs> keep my tail on him. Keep it on. Keep it on. Keep on. Keep on. Hit that on me. Yeah, he's going to right over. Are you guys getting him on popper? Woo! He's on the no, stick bait. This is on the uh, 20 gram OG, the smallest one we make. Okay. I got deep color. Can you move some of these rods? Yours bigger. Color. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. 
Yeah. Almost ready for you, Timmy. Bluefin? Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, nice headshot. Take your time. Nice belly shot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My man! Good job. Freaking buddy. dream team, baby. <laughs> Look at that right there. We are two for two so far. <laughs> He jumped right over the top of my head. Like, oh. oh man, we'll get another shot. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is so yeah. early. That was good. That was so good. Woo! Yeah, angry. Look at that. Number two. Yeah. Good job. Good yes, job, sir. Yeah. Thank you, man. Good job. Nice work, you, guys. Job. Hey, it's early. It's not even one o'clock. Ah! Madness. Ah. Madness. That was a small spot of fish, too. But uh, proper cast, getting it right there in that meat was everything. Oh, good times. Yeah, 20 gram OG. Uh, they, they ignored our first couple casts. I think they might be on a smaller profile. So uh, we're going to make that adjustment. Keep throwing that smaller bait at them. Hopefully we keep cracking them. I see another spot up, boys. Slide left. Slide left. Slide left. Pull that boat to come. You're good. Get in there. Pop that thing. They're still right there, right past where I can. There you go. Good job. Ah, I just got high a bit. Oh, they're still there. Oh, they're yeah. right here, guys. Oh, oh my God, they're right there. Caught a trillion. They're right here, coming to us. Low bridge. Oh! oh my God. Holy God. Sh sick! Was that a new yeah. one? Yeah, it was. I just pulled it out of its mouth. That was bad. Ass. Oh my goodness. That looked like a little bit better. That looked oh. a better grade right there. They want the 20 gram. Damn it! That was sick. That was <laughs> that, that gulp. That, oh, oh, over there to the right. To your right. Yeah. The bait ball is just sitting there waiting yep. for us. It's gonna happen. Brandon, go for it. You oh. can have the fun. Get up there, Brandon. Oh, I'll reach over. 
I want to get the release too, Gary. Take your time. Keep doing that. Okay, I'm gonna grab his tail, so keep doing what you're doing. Knock, 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 we're going to catch a release here. What? Yep. You don't need all this tuna. Hold on, I want to fight off on me. I want to grab a still. Look at all the anchovies talking. It's crazy. What kind of leader you got there? 140. Nice. But you manhandle these things. Yeah. Watch out. That's what yeah. going to be. I just need to get a gaff to uh, get a still. Can someone grab a gaff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're probably gonna get off, but right? which is okay. There it goes. There it goes. Nice. Beautiful. Bro. Yes, sir. Hell Catch yeah. a release, tuna. Loop in. That's just something uh, I don't ever hear people talking about. Yeah. Good job. Oh God! Look behind us. Oh. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm gonna spin around on that. Cool. Straight pandemonium out here, guys. We got thin back whale, freaking rippers going. Gary's on fish number three. I'm about to work this thing. What the gas station? It's in the mouth. All right, all right. Nice work. Easy. So you just want me to lift the tail, right? Yeah, don't don't hook on. Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, Getting yeah. corn hold up here, old man. Almost. <laughs> oh, Don't go swimming. Look at that. My man putting his back into it. All right, we're gonna try and release this one too. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, 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 oh. Who put a trolley motor on this boat? Okay, we good. I'm gonna put you on lockdown. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> that was close. Really? That's the thing about trying to pump these fish to the boat green. Too green. They're green. But you also don't want to just wear them out so they can't swim off. So right here you got them. It's a fine line. Be there now. Uh oh. Well, oh, he's gonna bleed out. All right. Well, gonna, we can head cap him. Nah, he's, he's yeah, it's going to take him. <laughs> oh, me. It's all Probably. good. Well, we tried. We tried. So that fish was going so squirrely that it ended up foul hooking itself uh, on the chin and the gill plate. So it's on there. It's on there. Wow. He, he ate it. He definitely ate it. My man, yes, sir. nice work. Good job, Karen. Thank you, uh, Tim just had a big one blow up on the stick bait Tim too. Had a good one there. I had one on for a second, but look at that. That's a nice blue oh, fin. Here. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. 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 Cool. Take that thing off. Oh yeah. Right, we get a couple still shots for you. Is your bait out, Gary? Not, Not yet. yet. Okay. All right, quick little video. Three, two. Yeah, baby. Nature boys. Tetuan, 60 gram. Schoolies. <laughs> medium bass or medium tuna dreams. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Cool. Fire. You got him. Thank you guys. Slide the uh, bleed in the back. Real quick. Yeah, the, the knife's right there. Chief. Oh, I, oh, I got it. That's not good. Alright guys, it's been an incredible day so far. It's only uh 1.30 in the afternoon. As you can see, the fleet keep following us, but uh, we're gonna try and get away from them and get more, uh, more of these fish to ourselves. Uh, of course we gotta have the guys run them. Running these things straight over, not giving them a chance. But we got four fish now. When successfully released, we try to release this one, but uh, just from fighting that thing, uh, it's rehooked itself in the gill. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna try and release the the rest of them. We have the fortune of hooking more. It's crazy! You guys see those whales? I wanted to release you. Uh. Oh, right, perfect. Go for it, you good. Alright, here we go. We go for it, Jim. Don't make me cast that in there. I was like, come on. Oh, yeah. I'm underneath. Yeah, Brandon. Okay. Good. I'm underneath, yeah.
<laughs> How's that backfield? <laughs> uh, dude, this is old age. Uh, oh, 60 geez. years young, baby. Hey. I used to follow this dude around Pudding Stone. He was yeah. in his 20s. That's crazy. What did that thing eat? Uh, that little popper. The little one, huh? Yeah. Or yeah. a little walker. Yeah, the OG. Yeah. Yep. How are you working it? Uh, cast. Boom, boom, uh, pop, pop. Jerk, jerk. Uh -huh. uh, the oh, pause is the yeah. deal. Yes, it is. First time pulling on a tuna with a coffee grinder? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is definitely different. It is definitely different. Yeah, it's 80 to 130. That's what we're going on, dude. Yeah. We go a lot bigger. They're going to eat, they're going to eat. We learned something every day hey. from all the I'm just a dumb freshwater guy. How'd you roll back? <laughs> you want to move that rod out of the way from Tim? No, no, the one up in the rod holder. The one up high. The one sticking straight up. Let's get that out of his space there. That Nomad braid's nice because you can see yourself gaining different yeah. colors. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, in the right purple. There. Gary, you want to try to facilitate this release? I'm going to yeah. hold the camera. Oh, you get to the tail. Yeah, yep. I want to get the tail. Once you pick up the tail, then you're good. Okay, can I get a picture with this fish? Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you want to hold it? Yeah. So you can just get out the mouth right here and you can pick it up. Spinning rods are quick, so much more work. You can put the heater on yeah. it. Yeah. It's just a little awkward, so. Yeah. Oh, quick release. <laughs> oh, man. Nice work. Number five. Quick release. That's it, man. All right, we're going to get back on these guys. <laughs> See how we were just creeping on by the school and just let it build, let it build. That one I just I just stayed off. You just have no patience, man. Yeah. Let me get this rod out of here. Oh god, I'll fly. Help me out, dog. Aim for the belly, there you go. <laughs> Nice, see? That's the best shot right That's here. the best shot. You just aim for the belly, you get him in the head. <laughs> yeah, boy. Woo! Good job. Good job. Nice. Yeah. Good job, man. Good job. Woo! Yeah. yeah. My man. Yeah. Good job. You guys having fun yet? Okay, that was a perfect example of gentlemen trying to have a conversation out here on the water. No need to get in a roid rage. Uh, you know, we all get excited, man, but you need to just kind of cruise up on these fish. Don't 
spoil it for yourself, first of all, let alone the guys that were already on the phone. I backed off on mine. Woo! I backed Man. off on my fish. I just let it loose because I was like, I didn't want to uh, ruin your fish over here, so I backed off and then it just pulled off. You gotta keep good. tension on those things. Yeah, I have to, That's but I was thing. like, ah. Yeah, right behind you, uh, Tim, on this corner. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Nice fish, buddy. Here you go, Brandon. Hooked them solid. Nice work. Yeah, my man. Oh yeah. Come on. Smile like you're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> right here, Brandon. Yes, sir. Good one. Awesome fish. All right. All right, here. Let's uh, put him in here. Oh, that's a nice bloody slush. Oh, oh where's it? Show me that sweet spot. It's pretty much like right there. Okay. See it just yeah. gushing out now. Yeah. Right there. All right. Cool. And then we can try to. Awesome. Right yeah. Get in there. bites on that thing today Three, for me. so sick uh oh, blind casting Thank nice you work oh uh, you're welcome brother oh hello oh. <laughs> up close and personal turn to starboard right out <laughs> all right go ahead team
Get the bottom one first. Get the bottom one first. Oh, yeah. That's one that's been going in. Yep. There you go. Alright. That one would have got out of here. Thank God. Hey, uh, <laughs> catch your ass. Turn around, baby. Here we go. Ah, yes. It's going to be alright. There she goes. It's going to be alright. <laughs> Great job, guys. Well, I, I want to introduce two really important figures in my youth uh, that have a huge influence on the fisherman that I became. Uh, number one here is my man Tim Irwin. Uh, very few people have I seen catch so many fish on a huddle spin on the sink. And uh, the last few years he's got the, uh, the salt bug in him. He's been out here chasing tuna, catching calicos, yellows, all that good stuff. Uh, but one of the most versatile bass fishermen I've ever known. You catch him on a drop shot, even with that weird cast that you guys are going to see. Same cast with the stick bait, apparently. You can catch him cranking. I mean, gosh, we've caught him just about every way you can imagine. And we're out here doing it. I haven't fished with him since probably Pudding Stone or Lake Paris. Yeah. It's been a long time. Yeah. And uh, Gary Jubilano back here is the first one that brought that that swag into the fishing culture for me. He's coming to Turner's Outdoorsman in the 90s uh, with all his tournament SS spinning reels and those tan and black Team Daiwa bait casters to get Maxima Ultra Green on them every time. I remember uh, first one I knew fishing uh, like high end uh, rods, Loomis, IMX, GLX before it was cool. Uh, and he has been an absolute hammer on these bluefin the last few years. Been just smoking these things. And you got Brandon. Say hi, Brandon. <laughs> just met him today. Uh, he stuck to his guns, got one the way he wanted to. Uh, just an incredible trip today. Uh, probably my best uh, offshore day yet, at least in, in, in this rig. So hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. Look for some insight from Tim. Give me a little synopsis, man. Like, what went down? Like Probably one of the best uh, days of tuna fishing here with Oliver. Um, did it a new way. Caught him on walking baits. And it was a blast. And spinning rods. Yeah. So, it's a little new yeah. to us. Spin to win, baby. Spin to win. <laughs> Just had a great time. Awesome. Gary, tell us about what you were doing. You had three fish today. The whole running gun thing is just something that we used to do a long time ago and I was throwing a little blade bait by uh, Nature Boys and throwing it into the mix. Uh, you know, Oliver put us in perfect position and it was just a awesome thing. You know, we would just rip the baits, rip the baits and they would smack it as they would uh, you know, come up and, and eat the other baits. So, that was it. Oliver, thank you for this awesome day. It was so, it was perfect. How many schools did we run across? Oh, How many man. fish did we run a across? Lot. You know what I mean? A lot. It was great. I think we maximized our chance. We've got eight fish to the boat. We've got yes. limits. Three we release release. fish. Yeah, we release the fish too. Yeah. I mean, that's a big thing. We don't just, you know, it's awesome to just catch all these fish, but to try to, you know, take them off and release them back, is, we don't need them. We fish so much that we just don't need them. Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully we can start a trend. Yeah, we're going to yeah, do that right. more often. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you again. Brandon, what do you got for me, brother? Stuck to my guns, through the cold sniper all day. Finally got one on it. They were all doubting me, but I did it. <laughs> oh, we did doubt you. It was those fish that were doubting you. So yeah, total count, we had eight fish to the boat. Uh, one on the sniper, uh, three on the nature boys, and the rest were on the cast 20 gram OG. So we're gonna be doing a pre-order on the Big Bass Dreams website. You'll be, that'll be the only place you guys can get them. And today the 20 gram really uh, got those fish to commit. Uh, we might have caught one on a 30 gram today too. Uh, but some days they want the 40 gram. Uh, we've had really good days on the 60 gram. Uh, so uh, we're gonna have an assortment of sizes. And then some days they want that down under diving popper. Uh, be on, on the lookout for that. Uh, excited to get those baits in some of your guys' hands. Where can they get that Nature Boys bait? You know what, right now? right there you can get it at evic and uh go on the link on my uh, profile on instagram and then you guys can check it out there just hit on it evic should be start carrying them soon nice, and also nice. check it check it out on instagram where can they follow you on the ground what's your handle iowa warrior man iowa dot warrior guys oh gee <laughs> that's OG, it man. that's the one though that was killing it guys that's oh, it right look at there. that take a look at that whoops
That thing was new today, wasn't it? Yeah, this one was four. brand new. Take a look at that. Chewed up. You should have had four, but he was trying to go easy yeah, on the fish. Yeah, I was just messing yeah. around with the other one and it got off. It pulled. But it did its job, that's for sure. Yeah, and then look at look at how this held up. Oh, it's incredible. Yes. They're super durable. You want to know what that bait's made that's out of? That's a sick bait right there. Balsa. Are you balsa They're balsa that's baits. Why that's why it's so lively in the water. But it's wired through. I did blow out a little bit of wood on one the other day, but we still kept fishing it. We caught two more fish on it because it's wired through. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it didn't even matter. Yeah. Great hook. Yeah. Yep. Those BKK uh, fangs, I think. No, actually, those are the Viper 41s. That's a 4X hook. Okay. I haven't bent one yet, and you saw yeah. like we reef on these things. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, if you guys can get the rest of that tackle, like pulp snipers, uh, the oh, Daiwa stuff. Website, number one, go just go straight to Nature Boy's website. You'll be able to get them quick that way. Good luck, guys. Have a good one. All right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, of course, check out Turner's Outdoorsman for the snipers, the. Uh, Salt, or the saltist that we were fishing today, uh, those pro scion rods or proteus rods, I'm sorry, uh, and man, everything else. Uh, without them, we, we couldn't do what we do. And if you guys are looking to experience this in 2024, we're going to be uh, booking up for training sessions. If you guys want to come out, chase foamers, uh, and actually learn how to do this, like I'll teach you guys the mechanics. I'm not just going to put you out there and sink or swim. Like uh, we'll go through how we set up, how we cast how you work the bait, how you execute, how you make less mistakes, because really, this is just a culmination of sucking a little bit less every time we come out. And uh, you know, fun fact, first person I ever saw using an uh, undershot or a downshot rig, as it was called, before people started just calling it a drop shot rig, was Gary. <laughs> he was hand pouring these like weird triangle worms. Hey, Bait, Dude, and uh, I think one time we tried to fish the upper lake, but it was like blown out, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> we ended up having to walk the bank on the lagoon, and I was watching him throw this weird upside down rig. And uh, sure enough, man, uh, it's, now it's a staple in bass fishing. That had to be 98 or 99 or something like that. I just aged myself too easily for you guys. Yeah, no kidding. But dude, this guy is just an animal with that jigging setup, and, and especially when you hook a fish. And I mean, Tim was up there spry as ever, like a gazelle, man, on that front deck. What do you guys think of this platform? Dude, this boat is sick. Yeah. I mean, it's wide. You got a great deck up on the, you know, the bow. And back here, look at this. It's awesome. This is a machine. Really, really machine. Machine. Yeah. machine. Fishing machine for yes. sure. Absolutely. So we'll uh, we'll be taking probably groups of three of you guys out at a time. Uh, I'll drive the boat. We'll have another hand on the, on the boat just to help out because we had a double going at least once today, maybe twice. Um, but it can get pretty hectic when when things can come together and the crew works together. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, man. Uh, I never thought I'd get both these guys in the same boat together. And Brandon, shout out to Brandon. Uh, but this is a real treat for me. Uh, and I hope we get to do it again and again and again and again, boys. Because I ain't going nowhere for a while. You guys are stuck with me down here. I think uh, that, that release of two numbers. Yeah, that, that's good. I was that, that, that's, that's good. watching yeah. you guys hook them and then trying to release them, you know, yeah. get a good release. Yeah, absolutely. All right, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. Uh, we got to put the thing on the trailer and clean her up. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Appreciate you guys tuning in.